Today, I am collecting every block in Minecraft Hardcore and using them to make one giant block. Also, shout out to Sandiction for the inspiration. And some of these blocks take a very long time to get, so let's get started. All right, so naturally, we're going to start this by collecting all the wood. All right, and jungle. And now the last one we need is dark oak. Oh, wait, we forgot about acacia. All right, and now dark oak. Ooh, we found a little spruce village. All right, finally. Ooh, and while we're here, we can collect these mushroom blocks. There we go. Let's head back. Oh, wait, we forgot to collect the leaves. Wait, these are just oak leaves. That's so weird. Oh, wait, it's an oak tree. All right, and that's all the leaves. Also, now is probably a good time to say that we won't be counting stuff that isn't a full block. So, for example, an anvil won't be counted, but something like a beacon will. Oh, and make sure you watch to the end of the video because some of these blocks are crazy hard to get. Anyways, that's all the wood done. All right, and we're going to start building our cube down there. So we need a starting structure, and I think stone's a good block for that. And as you can see, this cube will fit 337 blocks into it, which is just one shy of the total number of blocks. So we'll just have one block spare. Anyways, let's finish this cube. Nice. All right, so now I think it's time to add all these blocks. All right, so we're now 33 blocks down, and now it's time to do some more exciting blocks. So as you can see, I've got some golden apples, and we're going to head over here to an ocean monument. Here it is. There's a few different blocks we need to get. All right, I think we just eat one of these, put our chest plate on, and head in. All right, let's do this. Let's get inside before we get mining fatigue. So number one, sea lanterns. Yes. Okay, we got it. Now we need prismarine. Okay, nice. And we also need this thing. No, we got mining fatigue. How long is this going to take? Am I going to drown? Wait, hold on. This should help. Go away, guardian. Okay, we got it. All right, now we just need dark prismarine. All right, here it is. Oh, there's an elder guardian. Let's just quickly whack this guy a few times. Just for fun. And back to this again. There we go. And the final thing we need is sponges. We're going to need two because we need one wet sponge and one dry sponge. All right, where are they? I'm just going to eat it. No! Oh my god, we placed it down. God damn it. Ow. 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 Come on, please mine before I die. Yes, we got it. Oh my god. Half a heart. Oh my god, we nearly died for that. Oh, there's another Elder Guardian there. We don't want mining fatigue anymore. We just want the blocks. Why'd you have to do this? Wait, we got a wet sponge. Okay, nice. Oh, I didn't know they could drop sponge. Maybe we could just kill another Elder Guardian. Oh, the sponge. Well, uh, this is fun. I think I'm gonna drown. Oh, there's the door. This is a netherite efficiency five pickaxe and it's taken this long. Are you kidding me? One eternity later. Oh my god, yes. Finally, we have two sponge, and that's all of the ocean monument complete. All right, so we just need to dry one of these sponges, and there we go. There we go, six more blocks done. All right, now let's do some more easy blocks, like dirt, for example, some grass tops. Do you call them green tops or grass tops? I don't know. Then we need some coarse dirt. Uh, how do you even make that? All right, so apparently we need gravel for it. Ah, like that. Then we need some podzel. There we go. And we might as well collect some mossy cobblestone while we're here. Wait, what the hell is this? Is that an azalea bush? Okay, we'll take some of that. All right, and finally, we found a mushroom island so we can get some mycelium. All right, I think that's all the dirt complete. Oh my god, this place is massive. Ooh, actually, we are going to need some coral blocks. All right, let's add the dirt. All right, and the coral actually needs some water to stay alive. So we're going to put some water under here. And we should be able to place the coral here. And then this coral above it should turn into dead coral, I think. All right, it's working. Okay, so we have all the different types of coral there. Very nice. All right, now let's do a few more easy ones. So obviously a very easy one is going to be stone. And we're going to need a bunch of this to craft up some other types of stone. We're also going to need cobblestone. Then we're going to need ore like this copper ore. There's some iron ore down here. Some coal ore, some uh, disgusting diorite. And let's actually see what we've got up in this chest. Oh, we don't have any ore. We need to go mining. All right, so our first block, deep slate. That is normal deep slate. Now we need cobbled deep slate. All right, then some tough. Perfect. All right, so last episode, we mined 100,000 blocks in a row and we missed a lot of ore. So I'm going to run down that tunnel 
and uh, see if we can't pick some of that up. All right, perfect. Redstone. Here's some iron. Yes, we found some gold. Wait, actually, we're going to need a bunch of this to make some raw gold blocks. We're actually going to go off track because we mined all our diamonds last episode, so we actually need to get some more for this. All right, let's go. We've actually found some diamonds. Oh my God, our inventory is full already. Okay, now we need some lapis. So... All right, now we're going to move on to the stone ores. So we've already got iron. We need copper. Uh, we should probably grab these blocks as well. So andesite, granite, and diorite. Oh, and this block, which is uh, the dripstone one. What's it actually called? Dripstone block. Nice. And we can get this gold block. Here's a normal redstone block. It's underwater, so... Uh... There we go. Here's a stone lapis block. All right, nice. We found some emerald ore. All right, so let's craft these raw blocks up. There's the copper one, the iron one, and the gold one. We are only missing three ores, and they're the rarest ones. So we need to get the stone diamond ore, the deep slate coal ore, and the deep slate emerald ore, which are some of the rarest blocks in the game. All right, so as you can see from this little diagram, the best place to mine for all three of these ores is going to be around Y0. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, he's got a sword. All right, let's go. We found this massive cave with loads of zombies in it. And we found this. So, that. Oh, my God. I can't believe we just did that. I'm so stupid. Ah, oh, zombies, leave me alone. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> let's go. All right. Use the right one. Nice. There's bound to be some more diamonds around here somewhere. Oh, yes. Let's go. The last thing we need is the deep slate emerald ore. We actually need to be in a mountain biome. So we're going to head up to a mountain and then dig down. All right. We've got this nice big mountain biome. Let's dig down and try and find some deep slate emerald ore. Oh, there's normal emerald. Then I spent absolutely ages mining for the deep slate emerald ore, which is the rarest ore in the game, until this happened. Oh my god, let's go! We finally got it, we've got all the ores. Oh, let's head back. All right, there we go. All the ores are complete. Now we just need to grab an actual full block of each one. So we'll steal a diamond block from here, a netherite block from here, some lapis, there's a redstone block, there's a copper block, iron, there's gold, and emerald. All right, so let's get placing them. Oh, wait. All right, so raw copper there, raw iron here, and raw gold there. Oh, that looks cool. All right, and then this side is going to be all the stone and stuff. Normal deep slate, cobbled deep slate, tough, normal stone, cobblestone, mossy stone. And then above somewhere, we'll put some dripstone. Then here, we're going to put this azalea thing just so it has some wood. All right, now we'll head up here and we'll craft up all the stone blocks. So what can we get? We can get chisel stone, stone bricks. We can smelt stone to get uh, smooth stone. And we can also do the same with deep slate. So we can get chisel deep slate, uh, deep slate bricks, deep slate tiles. Oh, we can also get polished deep slate. We've got our smooth stone. There we go. All right, now we're going to take a break from the overworld and try and get a bunch of the nether blocks. All right, so for this, I think the best way to do it is do it biome by biome. So for this biome, we need this and this. Then we're also going to need some bone blocks. There we go. All right, and now for the fortress, we need obviously nether brick. And now to move on to the other biomes. Oh. Uh-oh, there's another one. Let's go. Any other blocks from here? I don't think so. Excuse me, do you mind? All right, and now this biome. So... All right, and now we need the crimson forest blocks. All right, I think that's pretty much it for nether blocks. Oh, wait, I've just realized we need to get ancient debris. Oh, no. All right, let's do this. Here we go. I think it's easier to find around the chunk borders. There we go. That's all the nether blocks. All right, so we need to like make every single type of wood. There we go. Also, we can craft this red nether brick like this. Wait a second, it's like... Oh, wait, we can get cracked nether bricks like this. Then we grab this, and we can make red nether bricks. Then we can cut a normal nether brick into chiseled nether brick. We can also do a similar thing with quartz. We've got our quartz blocks, so we can get a quartz pillar, quartz brick, and chiseled quartz. Oh, wait, and then we can also get smooth quartz, I think. Yep, there we go. All right, let's place these in. 
We forgot about this one, actually. There we go. Then I think we'll do the rest of the nether blocks on top. We nearly forgot about polished basalt. And of course, the ancient debris and netherite. Wait, I kind of forgot you could strip these blocks. Uh, we'll be right back. Um, there's an enderman here. If he steals this emerald block, I'm going to be so mad. Where is he? Where'd he go? Here he is. Don't steal my blocks. All right, he was holding dirt, but I think all our dirt blocks are safe. Anyways, I just realized we forgot about a bastion. And there's loads of different blocks in a bastion. So let's go get them. All right, here we are. This is going to be dangerous because of the brutes. So let's get our chest plate on. Make sure we've got a bow. And let's do this. Oh my god, there he is. Oh no! Crying obsidian. Let's go, and normal obsidian. Oh yes, we need this. Let's go! Ah! Alright, if we just collect some of this, I think we can make all the other blackstone stuff. Alright, there's polished blackstone. Alright, I think that's all the blackstones. I kind of feel like I might have been wrong about the size of the cube, but we'll see. All right, so next we're going to get all of this colorful stuff. So for this, we're going to head to a flower biome. Ooh, actually, we found some pumpkins. Normal pumpkin, carved pumpkin, and jack-o'-lantern. Okay, so red, blue, yellow, white, sort of. Ooh, pink. Ooh, wheat. Here we go. This is better. Okay, I don't really know how this works, but we need this beehive. A bee just went in. Can we do that. Does he want to go in this? Hello, Mr. B. All right, go in there and then we'll grab it. Nice. Let's go. It's a mossy stone brick. Oh, wait. feel like those pigs just looked at me weird. Ooh, I just saw some melons. That's better. All right, so to make all these different colored things, we're going to need about 10 of each of the dyes. So first, let's do white. So we just get bone meal and we can make 10 white dye. Now we need some light gray dyes. So I think these flowers do that. And now we need to do dark gray and black because they both need ink sacks. So we need to hunt some squid. Oh, that's not a squid. Oh, here we go. Oh, actually, while we're in the jungle, we need some cocoa beans to get brown dye. All right, so there's black and there is gray dye. Then there's brown, there's red, orange, yellow. All right, so now we need lime dye and we could just get some cactus and use some white dye with it. But I think it's more fun to come out here and collect some sea pickles. If you didn't know, these are basically my favorite thing in the game because, well, they're sea pickles. Actually, guys, let me know what your favorite thing in Minecraft is and I'll heart any good suggestions. Oh, we're gonna drown. Ooh, and there's some cactus right here. And we found one of these biomes so we can collect these blocks as well. Ooh, we actually also need sand, I think, and sandstone. Ooh, there's also yellow terracotta. All right, there we go. We're making lime dye and green dye. Then we can make blue dye from lapis and combine it with some green dye to make cyan dye. We can also combine this blue dye with some white dye to make light blue dye. There we go. And now it's just the pinky purple colors. Of course, for purple, we can just craft blue and red dye into purple dye. Then if we do this, and this, we can craft up magenta dye and pink dye. Perfect. Now we just need to get a bunch of the different blocks that we need to dye. So the first one is wool. And I think I know where we can get a bunch of that. All right, so there's all the wool. So now we need some glass. And there's the glass done. All right, and the next block we need is terracotta. And to make this, I think we need clay. All right, here's some. And this is also a new block as well. Then I'm pretty sure we smelt this. There we go, terracotta. All right, and can we dye it just like this? Oh, wait, how'd you do it? Oh, it's like that. We need more. The next one is concrete powder. So that's pretty much the same. We just craft a bunch of that and then craft it into the colors. Okay, there's concrete powder, but we actually need concrete as well. So we need to take one of each of these and turn it into actual concrete. Oh, it looks so cool. And there we go. Ooh, we actually forgot about glazed terracotta. So I'm pretty sure if we just grab one of each of these and we can just smelt them, I think. Yes, and that gives us glazed terracotta. All right, let's do that for all of them. Oh my god, these blocks look so cool. All right, the final multicolored block is very hard to get. It's shulker boxes. So it looks like we're heading to the end, and we might as well collect all the blocks while we're there. All right, so the first block from the end is, of course, endstone. Now we need to actually look for an end city. So let's find one. 
All right, we've actually found an end city. So uh, we need to grab all these blocks. So we need to grab this block, whatever that is called. Oh, and we need to kill all of these guys to get their shells. Oh, all right, we need this block. All right, the only other block we need from this end city is these pillars here. All right, there we go. And now we just need to kill loads of these shulker boxes. Let's go, we found another one. And another elytra. More diamonds, we'll take those. This doesn't count as a block, but it's pretty cool. And there we go, 36 shulker shells. Let's go home. All right, now we need to actually craft them into shulker boxes. So we need a bunch of chests. And now it's time to dye them all. Perfect. All right, I don't really think we have enough space on this block to fit all of the blocks, which is kind of weird. So I think we're going to have to do some more calculations. Bear with me a sec. All right, I need to make the block bigger. So... All right, so as you can see, I made the block a bit bigger, and right now we have 255 different blocks. So we're going to have to speed this up a bit. So now I think we're basically just going to go down the list and get all the blocks that we missed out. All right, and the first block that I can see on the list that we don't have is a brick block. So let's grab some clay, smelt it up, and that's another block. Next, we've got this chiseled sandstone and cut sandstone, then smooth sandstone. And we need to do the same with the red sandstone. All right, next we need some snow. All right, and next we need all the different types of ice. So we've got normal ice, then packed ice, and... And then blue ice. All right, next we need a bookshelf. Then I think we've got some slime down here. Oh yeah, so we can make a slime block. All right, now we actually need some of this. And we need to chuck it in here. And then we can craft a dried kelp block. So let's add these ones in. All right, so this next one is a bit of an interesting one, and it's actually a honey block. So we're going to need a small little honey farm. And there we go. As you can see, we've now got a fully functioning honey farm. Hopefully, this should give us some honey eventually. All right, guys, we finally got enough honey to craft up a honey block. There we go. And we've also got a beehive and a honeycomb block that I crafted up while I was waiting for that. We also need to place all these blocks in, including the bee's nest. So let's go doing that. Ooh, we're getting close now. And the reason why we're going to use honeycomb is we can wax the blocks, which makes them stay at this state forever. So they won't oxidize and turn green. So we're going to get the four different stages. And this is going to take a little bit. So I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, eight more blocks. All right, and now it's time to get a bunch of the workstation blocks. So let's get crafting. All right, so of course we've got the crafting table and furnace. Then we've got pretty much all of the villager workstations. Then we've got a respawn anchor, a lodestone, target block, duke box, note block, redstone lamp, dispenser, dropper, observer, cauldron, piston, sticky piston, and of course, TNT. So let's place them in. Uh, we gotta be careful of this block. Ooh, we actually forgot about scaffolding. There we go. All right, now I'm pretty sure there is only one block remaining. Yes, that's right. It's time to get a beacon. All right, let's do this. Come on. We're killing it. Oh my God. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, we have our light run. That's right. Oh my God. Please. Oh my god, that was so close, actually. Why did I do this with an elytra on? All right, let's finish this. There we go. And there we go. We have collected every block in Hardcore Minecraft and turned it all into one giant block. Thanks for watching and watch this video next.